Turn up from my man, bro. Yeah, back outside. Let me do it. Uh, what's going on today? Tell me what's going on uh, today. I'm just here to have fun as usual. This is the traditional at Austin Memorial Gardens and Oguafe to Afashe, undoubtedly one of the biggest festivals yes. we have in Ghana. Yes. I mean, today we are here to be part of the 60th anniversary unveiling ceremony and also um, uh, a new planning committee has been installed, uh, headed by a woman. I don't know if it's the first time. I think it's the first time. Well, the first time. and. Uh, She's a very popular woman in Ghana. She used to be the EC chair. And I mean, we are here to see the new faces and get along with it and see how 60 years will be like, you know. 60 years supposed to be big. <laughs> so she's supposed to call all of us, man. <laughs> Yeah, 60 so years is supposed definitely to be 60 years we are Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Sir Cole Simpson. I'm currently here in Cape Coast. I told you that one of the biggest festivals to be celebrated is done here in my city. So I'm proud to be from Cape Coast. And we today we lined Oguafe to Afasha. But I've got these brothers right here from one of the best schools in Ghana. Make sure you bring your kid or your, your boy to this school. Which school is this? Okay, good. What are you doing here today? To visit the lunch of the future factory. Okay, okay, so is this your first time here? Yes, please. Okay, so now tell me something. What are you going to tell anybody who is not here today come September 2024? What are you telling them? Doubting a lot, and that they should make sure they find themselves here the next time this, this September. Yes. September. September. Yeah. Starting yeah. this September. Life and courage. Life and courage. Yes. Are you coming to? with some yeah. girls? Yeah, we'll be here. We'll be here. Oh, with some girls. girls. Yeah. From where? We'll go gay. I'll be coming with boys. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There's one place to be within the year during September. Do you know where that place is? Cape Coast, the central region of Ghana. Yes, the beautiful nonsense. Sometimes when you talk about Cape Coast, some people say the town of the beautiful nonsense. Some of them will say it's the hub of tourism. Whichever way, Cape Coast Central Region is the most beautiful place to be within the year in September. Yes, why? Because September is in Cape Coast. Yes, and definitely that is when we traditionally celebrate the beautiful festival called Ogwa Fetu Afashe. But this year, we're celebrating the 60th anniversary of Ogwa Fetu Afashe. I know if you're watching and you're from... Cape Coast or you're from Central, you will say, oh, so Fetu Afashe is 60 years. Yes, it is 60 years. And that is why we are coming your way again to invite you to Ogwa Fetu Afashe, Cape Coast in September 2024. It's going to be one of the biggest. Why do I say that? Because this time we have different faces when it comes to the planning committee. Aside that, this time I am very happy of a certain involvement of certain people. Yes. Uh, previously, I've mentioned that, hey, Ogwa Fetu Afashe should have the student boy. I mean, when you talk about education, Cape Coast is number one. We have UCC, we have Mfantepem, you know. I know the Mfantepem people will come and say, the school. Yes, we have Adesado College, we have St. Augustine's College, we have Holy Child, we have Wesley Girls, we have Agri Memorial. Most patronized schools here in Ghana being in Central Region Cape Coast. So that is why this year, Ogwa Fetu 2024 is going to involve all and sundry. So yesterday, on the 14th of May 2024, we launched our tradition, our beautiful culture, embedded into this festival called Ogwa Fetu Afashe. And the theme for this year is celebrating the city of first, our people and our future. So this year, like I said, I mean, the event has already been launched uh, towards uh, September 2024. Uh, this event usually takes place within the first week of September. So that is, we're looking at the first weekend in September. But starting from the latter part of August, where we have, you know, the traditional rituals and everything ongoing in there. And then we climax with the Friday. We have something called Orange Friday. You can see me wearing orange, right? So this is Orange Friday. It's been organized by one of the radio stations, KPFM. You know, this day, on this day, you can, you, there's traffic in town. I mean, starting from one point to the other, everybody is wearing something 
that has orange in it. It can be a cap, it can be uh, a pyjamas, it can just be your pants without your top. It's, it's a beautiful carnival, I'm telling you. Maybe this year, if you've not planned your trip yet, make sure you're planning one to Cape Coast Central Region of Ghana in September to celebrate this beautiful event with us. So this year's festival was launched uh, yesterday at the Atto Austin Garden where we have a lot of people who came in to, you know, grace the occasion. We have uh, the police in there. We had, you know, I mean, the security service were in there. And then we also had some new faces. Like I said, there's a brother called Kojo Jankson. So Kojo Jankson is a radio personality in Ghana. I mean, he's doing pretty well with uh, whatever he's doing. Uh, so he is part of the planning committee for this year. And I know he's got the people... He's going to bring people. That's why I said, I feel like this year's festival is going to be the biggest. Why do I say that? Again, we have uh, our former EC chairperson. Yes, Charlotte Osei. I never knew Charlotte was related to Central Region. But now she's part of the planning committee. And as big as she is, I'm sure she's going to invite like the whole world to this uh, year's festival. So I'm also inviting you personally. I've made mention that this is the time I feel like we should have, you know, Cape Coast or the, 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 the festival should relate or find one of these Caribbean islands. Maybe talk about St. Uh, Lucia, maybe talk about uh, uh, Dominica, talk about uh, St. Vincent and Grenada. Oh, like there's a lot of them. I think I feel like we should collaborate with one of the islands, maybe two of them, so that we can invite them. Because, like I said, most of the things that we do here is typical of what they do there. So this year's festival has been launched. Ogwa Fetu Afashe 2024 has been launched. I am inviting you wherever you are coming, and let's make it happen. My organization called Cape 360, you know, we are a team. Last two years, we started a project called September in Cape Coast. The idea is that Within September, we want to make sure that the whole world is looking at Cape Coast. So we're not only looking at the festival which ends at the first uh, weekend or the first week in September. We want to look at how best we can, you know, put a lot of events within September so that when people travel to come and watch the festival, at least they still have few things, few other interesting things to do here in Cape Coast. So last two years, uh, we did a, a, a party in the bars. I remember we had uh, one of our sisters from the United States, I've forgotten her name. Uh, last year, it was massive. This year, 2024, this will be our third year, but this is the 60th year for Ogwa Fetu Afashe. So we are inviting everybody to be here. Let's party, let's connect, let's celebrate and push uh, the beautiful people of Cape Coast and Ogwa Fetu Afashe. So thank you very much for checking me out. You can put up a comment and say that, hey, Echo, I am coming to Ghana, Central Region, Cape Coast to celebrate Ogwa Fetu Afashe with you. Peace out. Yeah, Charlie, uh, we invite everybody to come Ogwa Afashe 2024. It will be mega. It will be boom. <laughs>